friends in this lecture we learn exclusive or xor or we also call it zor in the zor what happens that you can pass on n number of arguments but all arguments must be true and if all are true then the result will be false if all arguments are false then the result will be false whereas if any one of the argument is true let us say there are 10 arguments and one is true and nine are false the result will be true so if any one of this is true then the result will be true otherwise in all other cases it will be false let us check it out in the first case r we will write down equal to zor we will check if 3 is greater than 1 comma if 1 is less than minus 1 in the first case 3 is greater than is true and 1 is less than minus 1 is true so both are true uh, 1 is less than minus 1 is not true so 1 is true when 1 is true then the result will be true in the second case let us see this is equal to zor bracket open and we'll write down uh, 2 is greater than 4 no true is not greater than 4 this is false and 3 is greater than 5 no it is not greater than 5 it is false when both are false the result will be false so in in case when both are true the result will be true in both case when are false the result will be false let us see another example uh, this one is equal to zor bracket open we will write down j7 is equal to xl comma j8 is greater than 0 Now in this case, J7 is XL. It will check out. Yes, it is XL. And J8 is greater than zero. No, it is not greater than zero. It is minus five. It is less than zero. So one of the statement is true. The result will be true. If we make change here, it will make it. Let us say one instead of minus five. We will make it one. As soon as we make it one, see both the statement holds to be true, and the result is false. In the last case, both are true. Then the result will be false. Let us write down equal to zor. Bracket open, true, comma, true. The result will be false. If we make any of them is as false, instead of true, we will write F A L S E false, and enter the result will be true. Let us see an application of this Zor statement. Now see there are five teams: Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Earth. And the games of two results of all teams are given here. so we have to decide whether they have already won or lost or they have to play the game number 3 so in the first case what happened is uh, the team is lost and the second game is won that means they have to play a decider game to find out whether they over or lost or won and similarly we have to do it for all this can be approached with the help of if and zor xor we will write down equal to if bracket open We will write down or yeah exclusive or, and the bracket will check out if this thing is equal to one, comma, then second match this thing is equal to one. Again we will check for the one one. Now see if both are win and both holds to be true, the result will be false. When it will false, it will not go to the true part. It will go to the false part. and they do not need to play a game they say they need not to play a game so what happened zor will result in false because both the inside conditions are true in this case zor result in false it will go to no no means they need not to play any game because they already won two matches no nothing is going to be changed after third match let us copy this down in the above statement and let us check that out in the above one we will double click it if says b4 is won and c4 is won no one is lost if one of the conditions is true one is false the result is true if the result is true it goes to the true part that is yes that means the answer is yes. should the team play game 3 yes they have to play game 3 for the decider match whether they will overall won the or it lost it so in this case we will also copy it down like this and see the rest of the case you see this case also lost lost means let us see how it functions b6 is one no not c6 is one no both are false both are false then the result will be false and it will go to no part no means they need not to play a new game because they had already lost two matches third match is not going to change the results 
what we have to finally do is we have to fill the fill without formatting and in this manner we can use if and zor 